Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna keep it short and sweet with the intros because we have a hobby box today. This is what my $80 in buyback credit went to. I found one store that would take all three of them. They were charging $224.99 for this. I had $80, if you remember from my short. I have two base Otanis and an Acuna Prism. That's 80 bucks. Uh, when I saw this, it pretty much called out to me. I've been really jonesing to open this for a while, since I opened those two blasters a while back. Um, they didn't really have anything else I was interested in at a price I was willing to pay. So, yeah, I did have to pay about $158 of my own money, but they also threw in some... Well, um, they threw in some pop loaders and some penny sleeves. So let's just get right into it. We are looking for one auto, and this is 2022, so we're looking for the Bobby with Juniors, the Julios, the O'Neill Cruises, and not the Wanda Frank Cruises. So let's just get into it. I really love the look of these cards. I, I wish I could have found more blasters back, back about nine months ago. Kyle Tucker. Alfonso Rivas, rookie. We got a beam team of Vladdy. Got George Springer. Um, got a Luis Severino. And a Gavin Sheets rookie. All right. Not a great start, but not a bad one. I got my boy next to me. He'll be on the lookout for refractors and things like that. I don't know exactly what else you can pull in here besides the... On card auto. If you guys remember, I missed the uh, Akil Badu out of 50. Jake Cronenworth. Nasty Nestor Cortez. Byron Buxton. Vlad Sr. And Freddie Peralta. And Marcus Stroman. There are 14 packs per box. Oh, there's six pack, six cards per pack. Keep thinking there's four packs. That's why my uh, my voice is getting weird after the fourth card. Sally Perez, Dylan Bundy, Wilson Contreras, Trophy Hunting, Jose Altuve. Cards have a nice curve to them too. Chris Taylor and Harrison Bader. Not doing too well. This was so. Originally, I thought they only had one left, and you know how much I love to buy the last of anything. And uh, then I found out they had more, so I actually took the bottom most one. Kyle Muller, wrapped in an American flag. I don't think this is a short print or anything like that. Fidel Bruhan, who I just believe got non-tendered, so he doesn't even go in the rookie pile anymore. Team of the Future, Jazz Chisholm Jr., Jose Abreu, Tyler Miguel, and Josh Bell. So this is actually pretty rough right now. We're going to need a major auto to redeem this. Sammy Long, David Wright from my Mets. Another Bean Team, Rafael Devers. Richie Palacios, rookie. Jesse Winker. And Hideki Matsui. All right. So we're about halfway done, I believe. Hopefully the second half is better than the first. Tony Romero. Sorry about that. We had a little, uh, little ambient noise in the house. Ryu. Derek Jeter. And here's our auto. It is, well, it's a rookie. It's Matt Brash. Radio. It's a green. Out of 99. Okay, everybody. Hi, it's John MP from the future, and I'm going to hijack the rest of this rip. Um, I recorded this footage on November 19th. Uh, it had been a long day. The, uh, the LCS we went to was about half an hour away, and... If you, uh, if you were to continue listening to the original audio, it would just be me getting more and more upset over the, the auto and um, 
it, w- it would have gotten poorly. And, you know, I've, I've already gotten comments that I'm too negative and stuff like that. So I've had some time and space to, to think about it. So, and maybe it's the cognitive dissonance talking. Um, cognitive dissonance is defined as a mental conflict that occurs when your beliefs don't line up with your actions. It's an uncomfortable state of mind when someone has contradictory values, attitudes, or perspectives about the same thing. I'm reading that right off of Google. So now that I've had a chance to think about it, you know, we, I could, I could blow smoke and say, well, you know, it was, uh, it was right card, wrong player, because it was a Mariner rookie out of ninety nine, but it wasn't J Rod. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I mean, look, it, Matt Brash is a either a starter or a reliever. Uh, I can't sell that card to save my life. But what I can talk about is, and I've talked about this before, um, process versus results. So obviously the results were not here today, but does that mean my process was invalid? So let's let's talk about that. Uh, uh, as I said, we, uh, we drove about half an hour away to this LCS because it was the only one that would take all three of my, my buyback cards. Uh, the other one near me was only going to take two of them. So when we got there, my original plan, I believe, was a Bowman Chrome Football University uh, hobby, and, and they were sold out. So I started thinking about maybe another Series 2 hobby because Series 2 is treating me well. I think those were 70 so I had eighty dollars in buybacks. I have to find something else for ten for ten bucks. That would have been easy to do. This place was expensive. Um, but as I think I even said at the beginning of this rip, you know, I've been wanting to rip Stadium Club Chrome twenty twenty two for a while. And when I saw these on the shelf, I just I just had to get it. Um, if I can kick myself for one thing, it's maybe not grabbing the first box that I touched and putting it back and grabbing the one at the bottom. But it is what it is. Um, I gotta live with it. You know, you can't win them all. I've actually been doing pretty well since the return from my hiatus. So I was kind of due for a, for a bad beat. All right, so I'm just going to end it here. Nothing of note was really pulled. I got, I don't know if you saw it already. Um, there's a Matt Vierling rookie uh, blue out of, I believe, 199. You know, whoop, whoop-de-damn do. So let's just end it here. I'll give you back your the rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you when I see you.